Kiris Amman, a multinational peacekeeping exercise, has representatives from 29 different countries participating. Several of these countries sent trainers to learn from subject matter experts and bring their knowledge and experience back to teach service members in their own country. What we endeavor to do with this sort of training is that we take talented instructors and put them through a three-week course to make them trainers of peacekeepers. The platoon lanes during Karasaman are an opportunity for the trainers to apply their skills and design objectives that multinational participants should achieve by performing the training. When they are successful, then these trainers can go back to their home countries and begin establishing a critical mass, if you will, of good trainers. So there's a certain degree of autonomy and self-sufficiency that is being built up from the ground up. The trainers need discipline and determination to better evaluate the platoons, but they have plenty of guidelines at their disposal, from specified rules of engagement and a standard code of conduct to ensure participants are able to deal with issues such as protection of civilians, especially women and children in current operations. At the same time as being robust and tough peacekeepers, there is a need to have heart. Because after all, if we don't have heart, how can we meet the needs of the civilian population? Senior Airman Michael Connors, Port Dixon, Malaysia.